Dear students, welcome to the problem solving sessions on method of variation of parameters. In this session, we are going to solve few problems on second order linear differential equation. The method of variation of parameters is a great and powerful method. It is helpful to find the particular integral of a given second order ordinary differential equation. The method of variation of parameters is going to be a handy tool and it is very powerful method to find the particular integrals for a second order ordinary differential equation of this form. So, I can write this as d square plus p of x into d plus q of x into y is equal to my r of x. So, let us go into the problem. We can solve some standard problems in this session. This method was first sketched by the great Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler. Many people have known he is very famous for his Euler's theorem in graph theory, but he cannot complete it. So, later, an Italian French mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange, you know him very well. In unit 2, we have solved the problems of constraint maxima minima using Lagrange. Do you remember, students, where lambda is my Lagrangian multiplier? So, Lagrange gave the complete solution for this method. So, he was the inventor of this method. Let us go into the procedure. How to find my PI using variation of parameter. Before that, just have an outline. If my RHS, that is my R of X, what we are going to take in this unit is, if it is tan X or cot X, if it is secant X or cosecant X, or if it is a combination of like cosecant X into cot X, etc., then I am going to use my variation of parameters. If your problem is sin or polynomial x power m or e power ax etc etc, we have already discussed the types in solving second order differential equations. So, we are going to deal with, we are going to deal with secant, cosecant, tan, cot, etc, etc. Step 1. From the given problem, first we have to find the complementary function. Since the problem is a second order differential equation, it has two roots. So, I can write a y1 plus b y2 where a and b are arbitrary constants. y1, y2 are functions of x. So, so, my job is to find this y1 and y2 from the given differential equation from the data in the left hand side. So, once we found this, we go for the next step. My second step is finding wrong skein. Wrong skein is nothing but W. What is this wrong skein? Is it a name or a notation? We can see it is the name behind a great mathematician. He is not only a mathematician, he is a physicist, he is a philosopher, he is a lawyer and he played a many different role. He is a Polish mathematician from Poland. So, he found a great concept called wrong skein. So, now we found y1 and y2, two variables in terms of x. If I found y1 dash and y2 dash and if I take the determinant of this, that is going to be called as wrong skein, which was founded by Honey Rongsky. So, it was named under him. I see in some books people use the notations F2, F1 and they are not using his name. It's a big dishonor to him. So, I always want to give the credit and honor to a great mathematician. Let us have a salute on him and using this concept of wrong skein, Lagrange has solved the problem. He framed the method of variation of parameters. Therefore, from step 1, I have to take the functions y1, y2 and I want to find the differentiation of y1 as well as y2 and if I find the determinant value, that is going to be my w. And very important thing, wrong skein cannot be 0. If it is 0, we cannot solve the problem. It should be non-zero. This is my step 2. Once you found wrong skein, we are going for step 3. We have found CF. Next step is finding the particular integral u y1 v y2. In step 1, we see a and b are arbitrary constants. But in step 3, u and v are not arbitrary constant. They are going to be function of x. So, let us see how to find this. First, let us write the information which is required to solve PI in a beautiful tabulated way. To find PI, we need Y1. Let us write the Y1. 
from the step 1. Similarly, y2. And next, we found w in step 2. Write that w. And in the given problem, my right hand side, I said it as r of x. Write the r value. Finally, to find the pi, I need what is my u and v. Let us write the formula u and v. There is no mathematics here. Just for your remembrance, I tell something. Like in the beginning of your life, you are minus, you are nothing when you born. Slowly, slowly, slowly when you grow, you get a lot of positivity. We learn a lot of things. So we are moving from minus to plus. Now, similarly, you can remember u is a smaller boy. V is a grown guy. So u is always negative and v would be positive. And when I am going for integration, I want to integrate and find the pi. It involves my right hand side. So I will put r. Here also integral r divided by w dx. Now y1 comes first, y2 comes next. So let us think y1 is a smaller one, y2 is the bigger one. So when you are in engage, you need a big support. So let us take y2 for this. When you are a grown people, you don't need a big support. You need the support of your young ones. That's your kids, etc. So we will put y1 here. Again I am saying there is no mathematics. Just for weak non-max students, I am just giving this idea. Is it clear? So now the formula is going to be very easy. U is a younger one, so negative. V is the bigger one, positive. For younger one, I am giving the bigger support. For elder, I am giving the lesser support. R by W is going to be common for both. Integral dx. Now, if you know the values of y1, y2, w, r, I can easily fill the table. So when you write the exams, fill the information alone. Once you find U and V, then I can write my PI. So therefore, for the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pi that is my ay1 plus by2 plus uy1 plus by2 so we found the solution for the given problem using this steps now before going to the problem i would have to say some basic formulas which are involved here do you remember students differentiation of log x is 1 by x then integration of 1 by x is obviously log x so what is the general formula behind it many of you have studied in your school days but you would have forgot so just make a quick recap integral if my denominator is f of x and my numerator is f dash of x dx and my integration answer is going to be log f of x plus c. That's why you see here my denominator is x. Differentiation of x is 1. It is a numerator. That's why the answer is log x plus c. So this formula is going to be very much useful for me to solve some problems. For example, if you are getting like this, what is integral tan ax dx? You don't know. Immediately what can I do? I will write it as sin ax divided by cos ax dx. Now cos ax differentiation is minus a into sin ax. But see here in my question I have sin ax alone. So what can I do? I will multiply minus and minus and I will multiply and divide by a. So now cos ax differentiation is minus a sin ax. So using the formula I can write the answer as minus 1 by a log cos ax. Similarly, if you have cot ax dx, it's going to be simply cos ax by sin ax. We know differentiation of sin ax is going to be a into cos ax. So I multiply and divide by a, I'll get the information. Now, using this formula, sin ax differentiation is a into cos ax. Therefore, 1 by a log sin ax is going to be my answer. So this I am going to use in the problem. And next, we know what is integration of secant ax dx. Just the formula we have to remember, it should be helpful in solving the problems. Secant ax integration is 1 by a log secant ax plus tan ax. Similarly, when you go for cosecant, it is going to be 1 by a log cosecant ax minus cot ax. The next formula, what is the integration of, for example, if you get cot square x dx. I don't know the formula, but I know cot square x can be written as cosecant square x minus 1 dx. We know that differentiation of cot x is going to be minus cosecant square x. Therefore, integration of minus cosecant square x dx will give you cot x. So now it is obvious 
cosecant square x integration is minus cot x and minus 1 integration is minus x. If I take this minus outside, this is my answer. So like this, we have to think and solve some integration which is involved in this problem. So just remember your school days formula. It is very easy to crack the problems too. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.